It's super important to sanitize your RV fresh water tank if you don't want to wash your dishes or shower with bacteria, algae, or mold that can grow in the tank. Trust me, you don't want that. You will want to sanitize your tank a couple of times a year and before your first camping trip after storing it for the winter. But there's one problem. How do you get the bleach into the tank? It's not as easy as it sounds. But don't worry, I have a secret hack that will make it a breeze. And I'm going to reveal it to you later in this video. So stick around and let's have some fun. So as we prep the RV for dewinterizing, we need to sanitize the tank. The way we do that is we add bleach to the water system and let it sit overnight and then we will drain it a couple times until it no longer smells bleach on there. Prior to doing this, so whenever you're winterizing or sanitizing your water system, you want to make sure the bypass your water heater is switched so that it's not filling that water heater up. So our bypass is actually behind our area here or underneath the fridge. So we'll take this off and then get to the bypass. So right here, we have our red for the hot water coming from the water heater, our blue going to it, and there's a switch here. So this needs to be switched up in order for our water system to bypass the water heater. So when we're done sanitizing, we will turn it back so that the water heater can fill back up. If you're getting value from this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. As a small channel, this means a lot to us and will allow us to continue to make informative videos for you. Let's go ahead and add the bleach now. There's a trick to getting this in there. But we do a quarter cup of 15 gallons. I've got 44 gallons here, so just under 45. So I'm gonna fill three quarters of a cup. Right about there. That a way to get it in with the tank fill here is to add the bleach directly to your hose. And then when we touch the hose, pouring the water in, we'll get it all in there. So we have the bleach in, we're gonna go ahead and hook it in. Attach our hose and we'll turn our water on until it starts to overflow on the bottom. Now that you can see coming in the overflow, tank's full, and we can go inside and run the lines. So you're going to want to turn on the hot and cold on both lines. First, turn your pump on. I'll spurt it first because we used air when we did this. Do cold first and then the hot side. Same thing with all of your faucets. And for us, we just have the kitchen sink, bathroom sink, and shower. And now we wait 24 hours to go ahead and drink. And then we'll do your flush out until we smell no more bleach coming through the water taps. The next day. Welcome back. Let's sit for 24 hours and drained out. Filling the tank back with fresh water. We'll run the water in the line. Make sure that it flushes through there. And we'll probably have to dump it uh, two or three times until we get all the smell of cooking salt. So I do that next. If you enjoyed this video, check out this one here or click on the playlist over here. Like and subscribe below so we continue to make these awesome videos for you.